Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me. What's up, lovely people? How are you doing? So, hey, Jack T, Mary, welcome, Erato. We got Runs in Circles, Candy Apple. We got Edna, Fish by any other name. MJ, Tomanda. We also got Martha. Hey, Martha, how are you doing? Come on, honey. All right, we also have who else is in here? Honey Bunch, Lindsay, Natsuki, Jackie Hawkins, Fresh Flowers, Mary again, and everybody, thank you for joining me. Smash that like button. I gotta tell people I am alive, so let me do that. Uh, right now, I gotta put it in my community tab. Uh, live right now with uh, Shiny and Rev T. Courtesy of G Man. All right, so if you don't know who G Man is, I'll explain that along the way because not a lot of us are up to date with the shiny and rev situation. Um, so that it's all good, we can explain that. All I need you all, lovely people, to do is just smash that like button for me. All right, so let's get into it. Hey, Corey, hey, everybody, 
Hey, Tagapa, what's up? Thanks for listening. All right, so let me get into it. So G-Man did this about two hours ago. He had some tea on Shiny and Rev. He doesn't know where they are because he doesn't want to be accused of stalking. But he has some things to tell us about the entire situation of Shiny and Rev. If you don't know who Shiny and Rev is, we'll explain that as, as well. Hey, Blue Eyes, what's up? Let's get into it. Uh, should I skip past his intro? Wait, wait, wait. you're telling me wait, 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 wait. You know what? We'll go through the intro. We're going to go through the intro. Let's just do it that way. Thank you, Nut Salsa. Smash that like button, everybody. He still is putting on this fake deal. Yeah, I mean, how long is he going to drag this uh, shit in and rev made me lose the house? It's been nine months. you telling me in nine months he couldn't get a job? Nine or... months? <laughs> right, Come honey on, bunch? Dude. In this economy, when every when job unemployment is the lowest you know it's ever been, you know the convenient we always used to go to to get the. What's the name Rev short for Reverend? Beers. Uh -huh. They were looking for new people every month there. Stand yes, up because it's a college town and people leave. And they're well. Wait a second. What is he talking about? The convenience store he used to frequent. Can I hear Beers. this again? Uh -huh. They were looking for new people every month there. Yes. Because it's a college town and people leave the convenient we always used to go to to get the beers. Uh -huh. OMG. They were looking for new people every month there. Yes. Because. What's his real name? Uh, Jason. It's a college town and people leave and they're in need of employees. Is this the same convenience store where allegedly, supposedly, the lady at the convenience store was spoken to by, by um, Dragnaut, and then the convenience store lady said that she actually offered a job to Rev, and he promptly declined the job offer because, like he says, they're looking for people all the time. I remember that. She offered him a job. She also said that uh, Shiny and Rev um, smell like ass and cat piss, but that's neither the point. They were always like, why don't you come and work here, dude? You're here all the time. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to work if I don't have to because my tax person tells what? me not to work because if what? I did, I'd be making too much money and it would put me in a higher tax bracket and I'd be fucked with taxes. What? That's why I don't work, folks. Okay. I have job skills. I can operate a cash register. I can add. I can't believe it. So that was the place where the lady offered him the job. Do they consider themselves sovereign citizens? I believe at times they do. He's also a TI targeted individual. <laughs> How does working when you ain't got no job or no income going to put you in a higher tax bracket? I don't get it. I'm confused right now. <laughs> you can smell them through the screen, right? All right, so we got the G-Man intro. With the tiger and everything. Let's go forward a little bit. Let's see when G-Man comes on. All right, wait, wait. We're going forward. Okay. Wow, that's a long intro. Well, I shouldn't complain. My intro is pretty long. What is this? Okay. As a tax professional, he's not lying. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to go forward with this. All I can say is there's still certain things that can be probated for um, Rev. There's still some monies out there. People have been telling me that it's a considerable amount. Other people have been telling me that what needs to be probated is not that substantial. It's maybe a couple thousand dollars. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Okay, there we go. Nope, to my camera on. Great. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Sowing and Reaping YouTube channel. I will be busy on YouTube today, won't I? Uh, and today, what I want to do is I want to start a little series, a mini series, probably about maybe a four part part. Is he rich? Um, he was rich. If meaning rich meant you had hundreds of thousands of dollars and two homes for yourself, then yes, he was rich, but it's been squandered in the past three to four years. 
on things that it shouldn't be squandered on? How can you have like seven hundred or seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and it's gone in three to four years? And then you're also signing over a home to G Man for one dollar, and then you want to be in that home, then you get into arguments about the home, but you signed it over legally. It's no longer yours. Four part series or a five part series uh called uh the chronicles of shanty now Thank you, i'm doing Mimi. this for a few reasons uh the first reason that i'm doing it it is is because um every now and then i'm reminded uh in the t in the comment section uh that some people refer to me as a g child as a g slave Shulu, uh shanty was my master uh i did whatever this woman wanted me to do i didn't have a mind of my own and all this other stuff so um, what I'm going to do for all of you is I'm going to release the text messages uh, between myself and uh, and Shani. Now, what you're going to be listening to today uh, during this particular time, I believe the one we're going to look at today. Sup, Charlie's uh, mom? Was around the time when I had GTV up and when I was having my problems with Miss Parker, with drag, um, okay. GTV and all of them. So you're going to hear some things being said here. Uh, Back, you're going to see the origin of a lot of videos that was made, especially as we get into this, because a lot of the stuff that you guys saw on Shani's either on, on, on her YouTube channel, which she brought me into it, or um, what she was saying about Red was straight up boulder, boulder, what is it, boulder gash or whatever, or baloney. Um, one small and you're all going to see what I mean about that when I show all of you that, all right? When I show you these text messages. Now, as I read these, I'm going to um, be showing you guys a lot of this, all right? FYI, he did this about two hours ago. He was on stream earlier this morning. He said he was going to actually delete the stream in half an hour. He never did. Um, I believe what you're going to be hearing today was some of this is what was when they was living in a house and some of it was before they was living in a house. All right. Before I um, before I acquired it. But I want you guys to actually hear this. OK. okay? Now, another reason that I'm doing this. Thanks, Fresh Flowers channel. Uh, in my comment section and said that um, and said something along the lines of um, uh, that, that G-Man, when are you going to make a video? Make any video. Make any kind of video. And I'm sitting here wondering, like, why are they interested in me just making a video for the sake of making a video? I don't like doing that. So um, I decided, okay, I'm going to do this uh, Shandy Chronicle series here uh, and I'm going to release these text messages. This is going to be one of a few things I'm going to release. Then I got the emails from her mother that I got during the time, during the first eviction that I'm going to show oh. everybody. So, um, and okay. none of you have it because none of you have ever reviewed it. So, and I briefly talked about this on Drag Channel. I never actually read the entirety of this, and there's a lot of reading on this. Uh, you're going to see Shani trying to get with me, Shani trying to get me to white knight her, uh -huh. uh, them trying to get me for money, them yeah. accusing me of destroying their life, which is the whole reason they did the poll. Um, and all this stuff is going to be in these uh, text messages that you guys are going to be able to see. So some of this is from years ago, because if you don't know, Shani, G-Man, Rev, they all met during the great debate community. Yes, they used to debate Christianity and atheism and have people come up and debate either side. And that's how Shani met G-Man, had the house for G-Man, and um, that's how she also met Rev. She wasn't really that interested in Rev until she found out that she had some money. Then there was a lot of interest in Rev. Okay. But that was from so, years ago. This is no longer their phone number. So if you happen to see it, it doesn't make a difference because this is no longer their phone number. Uh, when they was in Boulder, Colorado, and they were trying to raise money, yep. during that video, which she was like, I need G-Man, I need G-Man, the amount of money that she had on her cash app was this. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. You can see uh, that How much? Not. No. 300 It was about uh, $245.76. Facts and fish. that's how the, that's my first interaction with them on my phone here. Anyway, this is the old phone, by the way. Uh, and this is what I said. This is what sh I think they said to me. They said, um, I still have the money in the stream yard and waiting to make another bill. It ain't being touched, bro. So that's Shandy right there texting me that. Okay. What you're looking at right here is the amount of money that they owed. Uh, and a lot of you know this already, but it was a little bit more than $6,000. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I told people to snipe this, I plan on deleting this when I finish with this. Yeah, he never did. Okay, so they owed more than $6,000. They owed, what, like 20 k from Boulder, Colorado because they were paying 3 k a month and they owed more than 20 k or just about 20 k They owed on the Dodge Durango. And, of course, it's still in impound right now. Nobody... <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody's interested in Rev or Shiny Perfect Couple, right? Hey, KLW, what's up? And now they're owing 6K. What's this about? Let's let y'all know. What's this right. 6K? So there's a $6,000 there that they owed for the place that they had. Now, where they live, the apartment, all of the information is actually on here. Uh, hold on a minute. And by the way, I do want to warn some people, there's some racist stuff in this. All right. So right, Lindsay. Uh, be prepared for it. All right. Um, next one is she got approved to join the, you know, she, she, her channel got monetized. That was the next picture she sent me. Okay. She told me she just got monetized. So you guys can see that. All right. So this is giving us a date. When did she get monetized again? Um, wasn't that in 2021? Like the first half of 2021, I believe. And uh, and then let she me says, make sure. Then Some, by the way, anytime you see something S, like that, Shani. something like that. Anytime you see the S, if it's me, then it will be in green highlight, I think. Right. Yeah. So she says she just got monetized. And then she says, I have heart problems. It was the first half. Then of she says, uh, and he don't care. He only cares about himself. This is her complaining about Rev to me. Okay. Then I says, hey, he, said, he said, you caught him with porn. And then Shandy says, uh, rape porn. Imagine, imagine why, why that would bother me. Cause he enjoys when it hurts me just like a rapist. Right. Oh. And then I said, he also said he is mad about wow. how you talk to other guys, but I told him you was acting. Shani says, like, dude, these are guys that were my friends since like I got since like I was 16. He wants to isolate me. Actually, with Robbie, I was 14. That's why I'm suggesting you visit friends and family. This is what I said. All right. Blue Eye says she's a hypochondriac, but swear she's not diabetic. She is fully diabetic like like i said all the all the big three signs that show you are a diabetic it, it's all there i can go over them but also talking about sex stuff did you guys know that she swatted her ex-husband chris with a sex toy and that jason claimed she assaulted him with a fetish whip what's up with these sex toys shiny Right there, I said, can you imagine? That's why I'm suggesting you visit friends and family. And then Shani says, True Charlie's mom. Um, I can speak to who I want when I want. I'm gonna let some man, I'm not gonna let some man dictate who I should be friends with just because they have a penis. Okay, I'm done uh, being a walking mat to him. I'm not his punching bag yet. He treats me like I am. And then I say, When you two calm down, try to talk to him, tell him how you feel. One bourbon, one scotch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. One bourbon, one scotch. Hopefully you're having a good one. Positive vibes, well wishes. But yeah, Shiny has type 2 diabetes. She has excessive thirst, excessive peeing, and excessive Then Shani says... I bet he treated his mother the same. That that's pretty mean, right there. What he said, what, what she said there about his mother, considering that his mom passed uh, not even that many years ago. Uh, yeah. Shandy goes, I bet he treated his mother the same. Then Shandy says, "Dude, every time I do that, I end up being berated. I can't talk to him. He won't listen to me. Never has, never will." Was he like this when you when, when he had wet brain? This is the question I'm asking. Him. What I gotta ask is this: Why is G Man bringing this up? from like a, a years ago. And speaking of the wet brain, a lot of people are in agreement that Rev has wet brain because of he was a profound alcoholic. He got taken uh, off the alcohol, uh, extremely cold turkey without any medical assistance. That that can be actually life-threatening because one of the things that can happen is you get a lot of deficiencies when you, all you do is drink alcohol because there's a lot of alcoholics out there that's all they do. They just drink alcohol. They will seldomly eat. You get a lot of deficiencies. And then what happens is that you get two syndromes that are typically seen in tandem, which is um, uh, Wernicke syndrome and Korsakoff syndrome. But typically, since they're seen in tandem so much, uh, they're called Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. So a lot of people are saying that Shiny gave uh, Rev 
aka uh, Baby Carrot, wet brain because she had him, you know, get off the alcohol cold turkey and probably got, got him brain damage. I'm asking. And then she says, exactly, he, he acted did. like this when he was drinking. Then I say, um, but but you helped him stop drinking so you can help Helped him now. Him? Yeah. And then she says, yeah, I did. And I took abuse for it, too. Maybe I can't do it anymore. I'm burnt out. So, again, I think at this time she's looking for me to 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 Thanks, throw Jack myself T. in the hat and try to replace him at this particular time. Because you're going to notice this as a pattern as we go on with this series. Oh, this girl gave uh, we, we did notice. Jack. We did notice that she uh, she always tries to replace um, Rev at multiple points. Remember when Rev got arrested for allegedly supposedly uh, kicking and punching um, the younger child, Zach? Who was in Shiny's bed then when he was in jail? Whatever happened to that $500 that was given allegedly, supposedly by somebody? I think it might be the uncle, Rev's uncle. But it was given by somebody to bail uh, Rev out of jail and then she just used it up. Uh, thank you, Godless Girl. How you been doing, Godless Girl? I've been checking out your YouTube channel. I noticed that you um, uh, had a conversation with Matt Slick. This is at the, the last video I saw. You had a conversation with Matt Slick, and then uh, apparently a troll trolled you, which was kind of funny. Okay. Spent it on Delta All 8, right. most so likely. What else? Uh, she said she's burnt out. And then I said, that's why I think you should visit family for a week. Give him time to calm down. And then Shandy says, if I, if, if I left, I won't be coming back. That's mm -hmm. where I'm at. And this is what Shandy's saying. All right. So I'm wow. saying you're saying because you're angry and fed up, visit family, then decide what to do afterwards with a clear head. Now, mind you, her mother is still alive at this time. Her dad's still alive. Uh, she isn't completely ostracized by her family because she didn't say anything about that here. Yeah. Uh, yet. Yet. But um, it's still very sad that uh, both her parents died. Um, not. Uh, like very quickly after the other, maybe like a couple months in between. Very unfortunate. I see something you're saying that because you felt okay. Then she says, I can't take the cruelty and hate anymore. It's like he's living in the embodiment of hell, just complaining and whining and yelling and hating. It's too much. I need my rest. I can't get it from him. So again, she's dogging him. Somebody gave a super chat here. Hold on. At this point, I'm sure Shiny's very evil. Says, um, yeah. Dry nut service, the bully says. Uh, so when did she want you to clap her cheeks? <laughs> well, we're going to get to all of that in this series. Here, uh -oh. because, but, but what you're hearing us going back and forth with here, uh oh, is when um, is, is when she was starting to like try to like dog dog rev and thinking mm -hmm. that I was going to try to take his place. And thank you for the two dollars super chat. Dry I'm nut. sure. Okay. Um, Who's worse? Here. I'm going to try to pay attention to that. I would say once mom moves that Shiny is worse because she has kids that have been in and out of a foster care that have been taken away from her on multiple occasions. They, I have no idea where Shiny and Rev is right now. Probably at shelter or something. Um, where are the cats? Where, Where's Watermelon and where is uh, Gavin? Like, this has to be talked about. The last time we saw either one of them was Rev talking about the uh, the Oyo Hotel that had a leak and that they had to be, uh, the hotel had to be vacated. Yeah, it, yeah it's definitely shiny. Music, all right. Definitely. I tried to get these, to but honestly and truthfully, I couldn't get the screenshots in order. So, and it's the same phone that I got Skype on. That's the weird thing about it. Hey, take okay, a mess so, back. Do, 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 do. Okay, he acted like that when he was drinking. Okay, then I said, but you helped him stop drinking. Okay, I said that so you can help him now. Then she says, yeah, I did. And I took the abuse too. Maybe I can't do it anymore. I'm burnt out. Just so that you guys can see, I'm not making that up. It's right there. Facts. Celebrity Juice says, Shiny uses the N-word um, with impunity. Do you mean without impunity? All right. Well, she actually yeah, uses it all the time. Like, okay, I think I read this already. Where it says that's why I think you should visit family for a week, give him time to calm down. True, and Corey. Then says, Gavin was. If I left, I won't be coming back. And and by the way, I'm not reading that wrong. She said that. She says if I left, she didn't say if she leaves. She said that um, if I left, uh, that's I what won't I thought. Be coming back. That's where that's where I'm at. 
She uses it without impunity, and she always slangs her race racist tirades towards G-Man. But yet, G-Man was still helping them. How many times have we heard G-Man being called the N-word? Time after time after time, on camera, by Shiny, with Rev backing her up. A multitude of times, but yet still, G-Man made them stay in his place for a year. G-Man was buying them food. G-Man was getting them Delta 8. G-Man was was doing this g-man was you know backing them up by making videos how much does g-man have to do or had to do to help these two when all they did was insult him time and time and time again then i say you're saying that because you're angry and fed up visit family then decide to do what then decide to do afterwards with after you clear your head or whatever all right then she says, I can't take the cruelty and hate anymore. It's like he's living in a vitamin of hell, just complaining and whining and yelling and too much. I need rest. I can't get it from him. Okay, I already read that. Then I tell her to do what, do whatever the Lord wants, wants you to do then. And then she says, I want to rest. I guess she means rest. And she says she wants peace. Then I say, this is a lot of me talking here. What does God want? Seek him. Oh, boy. He says. Uh, then I tell her, uh, that way there there is no guilt then i tell her please don't rant on youtube because this is your personal life the only reason i think g-man would keep helping them is one um he's a christian and two he did get a house for a dollar so if you didn't know um rev signed over his childhood home to g-man for one dollar you heard me right for one dollar although there might be a lot of work um to be put into the house and there is i believe there might be a at least one lien i think there's probably multiple liens either due to taxes or maybe a contractor or maybe multiple instances of tax plus contractors but once again he did get a whole ass house for a dollar so i think that is partly the reason why he actually still continued to help them yeah Two okay, reasons. it's it's none of their business, which is something I constantly said to them on a regular basis. Um, thank you for the two dollars super chat. Uh, Swift reset. He says, "Where are they today? Now are they in contact?" No, I don't know where they are. Yeah, he doesn't. I got a, I got a theory. They're either at the uncle house or they're in downtown Scranton at the um at the uh, homeless shelter that's down there. All right, you heard it. Either at the uncle house or in Scranton. Uh, at the homeless shelter. Every time I take my take my eyes off it, I lose my place. What I said here. Exactly. So just give me a second here. Maybe motivated by guilt. Then I tell her, please don't rant on YouTube because this is your personal life and is none of their business. Then uh, Shani said, "I'm uh, oh, sorry." Then, then I said, uh, "Shani, what is your cash app?" Okay. And then whatever I sent her, I sent her at that time because I was sending them a lot of money to try to calm them down sometimes. Right. And then right, Mary, motivated by guilt. Damn, Rev got any more houses? It seems that the family has quite a considerable amount of houses. Rev, at the moment, he doesn't have any more houses. Okay. Because the uncle got one house, G Man got the other, and he has no house. How the hell can you have 700K, two houses, then you end up with no house? I know 700k in three to four years. Then um, I said, I will send you the link to the show to join if you want in about 10 minutes, which honestly and truthfully, I should have never did that. That was the show, I think, when I was dealing with Scientist Sam. You guys are going to be hearing a lot of my conversations with them in private regarding Scientist Sam. So uh, I say to them, we're going to review the joke made by Scientist Sam today, right? And then Shani says, that is not how you conduct yourself. Now, mind you, that was the last conversation I had with her on April 29th, right? 2021, right? On April 30th, this is what Shani says. That is not how you conduct yourself in my name. I'm dead serious. She said this. That is not how you conduct yourself in my name. I've I've been Lisa B, they blew their money on all sorts of wackiness, um, expensive items, expensive mics, guitars, uh, tons of laptops that they could have pawned or traded in or recycled, uh, fur coats, um, eating out at um, places, doing hundreds of dollars in shopping halls, uh, being uh, buying expensive makeup, like putting lipstick on a pig. But remember that Shiny was part of um, 
what was it called again? Uh, wasn't it Shane Dawson and who else had that makeup collection? What was it called? I'm looking for it. It was like the wonderful world. No, the beautiful world of Shane Dawson. Remember, she was in that video. That video was like an hour and 15 minutes long, something like that. But yeah, she used to give super chats to tons of people. She used to back up a lot of people by funding their their ops. DoorDash, Uber Eats. Yeah, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, the beautiful world of Shane Dawson, the controversy makeup, the conspiracy makeup. Um, Ethan out at Ruth Chris, Walmart shopping halls, all types of shite. Leaving these people alone, I chose not to attack them for Jesus. S-M-D-H. Shaking my head. I'm not going to say the other word. Let me make sure that, uh, that nobody got this here or whatever, right? Yeah. Then uh, Shandy says, maybe you will hear this. It was all about Shani. I was tortured by black people. This what? It gets interesting, guys, here. Okay? I want to make sure I started from the beginning because Shani has the same copy of these messages, too. So I want you guys to hear this all the way through. Okay? I did see that Life of Lindsay, a new series out by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Okay. She says, um... I was tortured by black people after you N word, after you N word, after you said you were going to rob me. And so everybody can see that there. Can you guys see that? No, it's blurry. Can Back you see it up. That? Back it up. G man. Let me keep reading here. Okay. Uh, Corey, unfortunately, you're right. Those kids will be mentally scarred for the rest of their life. Having to deal with, um, a complete lack of interest in their well-being, um, their diet, their health overall. Even them going to school was a problem. There's so many things that there was a lack of. Do you honestly think I'm going to... And mind you, I gave her a question mark because I didn't get what she was saying there, right? Or pretending like I didn't get it. And then Shani says, uh, do you honestly think I'm going to stand by your racist BS? And see, I got to be careful because now she's cussing in this. You uh, you just want to hurt a white person, not and that's not of Christ. Even now, we're hearing about um, them being at a foster home, having a foster mother, and their their toilet and eating habits are um, will be be considered savage. What you are that's doing is sad. racist. So she told me, she told me, oh yeah, she, hey, said, Aaron she said that. Um, she's basically accusing me of being racist. Because uh, of me going after Sam with the with the joke that he made and whatnot, right? So, um, and no, I'm not going to show people the joke. Y'all should know it by now. Um, then uh, she says, True I said, no more text. Talk to you later. And that's exactly what I said after she made that statement about, um, you know, me being a racist. Then uh, a couple of minutes later, she says, you want pitchforks oh, out Danessa. by black people to go after another man. So how do you say Danessa Myrix or Myrix is now your new go-to fave for makeup? That's pretty cool for Dea. You're no different than the slave masters. Same hate with the same BS. Revenge spin. This is what she says. Then I said, no, it isn't. He has my email. He is free to serve me anytime he wants. My lawyer uh, and I already talked about this. Then she says, stop the hate and leave me out of yours. I have a bad heart and, you're, and, and you uh, cut for Florida. to kill me. Mm -hmm. Fool. So let me let everybody see that there because I got to be careful how I read this. I'm going to mess around and say the wrong thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very right. true to Wanda. All right. Then I said, then, then I say, one more thing. Jules gave the atheists some text messages I sent you. They said I gave you money for weed. And then I said, fix it. And, then, and that's how I said it. So you guys can see that. Yes, a fish. Um, like their eating habits were considered really, really poor, underdeveloped. Because that's what happens when you, you never know when your next meal is going to come. Like I have still the same issue with Martha because of how she was abused. How she eats, she always wants to eat. And then if another cat's there, I, a.k.a. her sister Lola, which really isn't her sister, but they got adopted at the same time. So I just call them sisters. Um, she will aggressively start licking Lola to try and steal her food. It's it's something I'm trying to 
teach her that there's always going to be food in this house, but she she has that problem. Because there's some video messages on here that I played on drags. Um, uh, that I played on drags. Uh, 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 um, what do you call it? On his members only show or whatever I think it is. And you're gonna get that in context now. Then she says, "You're vengeful. Don't blame me when God, aka Dad, punishes you." Then I said, "No, George Floyd should have." Helen sorry. Smith. Then I said that no, George Floyd should have been used, should not have been used in a joke like that. And then I correct myself by saying not because I forgot to put the word not there. And then she says, uh, "Thanks for listening, Charlie's mom. We are way too close in the season to act like this. Forgive them like Christ forgave you." So I said, "So again, I will not mention you, but I'm no exactly I'm to wonder." I'm nowhere done with Sam. This is back, like I said, when GTV was around. And uh, Shandy says, stop it. You are, okay, you're, you're, you are who getting the best of you. Jesus would turn the other cheek. Anyway, so you guys don't think I'm reading that wrong. It's very sad, Erin Tay. <laughs> and then I said, um, thank you, Blizzy. I and other blacks took what he said very seriously. You are playing into, in, into their hands again. Then she and now, now, mind you, the reason why I'm reading this for people to so that people can understand why I'm reading this, guys. Uh, if it's blurry, there's really nothing I can do about that, um, guys. Uh, let me get this again on here or whatever. Um, the reason why I'm reading this is because Shani, um, yes, Lisa B are, says everyone go vote today, do it for your moms, your sisters, your daughters, and your granddaughters. There you go, vote. The things that I have to first of all, these are the things that I have to deal with behind the scenes. A lot of people were saying that I was her, that she was my slave master and I was obeying everything that she was saying. I wanted to show proof that that wasn't the case. Number two, the other reason that I'm reading all of this is to show you how hypocritical this woman really is at the end of the day. All right. Angry Roach gave a five dollar super chat and says, Ken Jones said you were burning drags pictures. What's up with that? <laughs> Vote for midterm Jones elections. Was exaggerating. I wasn't burning his pictures. He was joking around. I'll get him on here to say that. too. Vote now. Vote um, today. No, but 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 just because I wasn't burning drags pictures doesn't mean I wasn't I wasn't thinking about doing certain things. So anyway, um well, so lost Shani says, uh show Jesus, not man-made behavior. Yeah, and blacks took took seriously what I said, and I was tortured. And all you and all you black people want is revenge. It's cuss word gross. Okay, I see one small moose. So the, one of the confusing things about about Shani for me is is that number Puss, one, this woman awesome was crushing on me. She wanted to sleep with me. She wanted me to have her baby. She wanted me to replace Rev. Wow. But then she's got all of this stuff that she's got to say about black people. I've never understood that. So that's number one. And number two, I found a video on YouTube. Um, I don't know if it's Fat Courtney Loves YouTube channel or if it's um, XX Archive, but it's on one of those channels. At least he's coming out with it that, yeah, Shani wanted him all up in them draws. Like, was trying to have him replace Rev because at least she could have a place for her to stay and live at. Can you imagine that? And on that channel, I found a video where... No, 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 no. It's not on either one of their videos. It's on another YouTube channel. And if you can find it, it's the channel where Vaughn Helton was being destroyed by everybody that came in the room or whatever, right? Uh, well, people right, were attacking him by everybody that came in the room, and Shani didn't do nothing about it. Well, and Shani wanted to have G-Men's babies. We know why, right? Because uh, Rev wasn't pulling in the dollars anymore. Rev is, like, broken, uh, destitute. And I'm actually going to be looking at that video YouTube <laughs> channel, all three parts, if possible. Uh, 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 to give my little opinion on that and why I believe moderation is so important. Can you imagine blowing through, what was it, like $175,000 a year in cash? How the hell can you blow through nearly two hundred k in actual hard cash every single year? Like, I don't know how that's possible. But um, how? Anyway, Drydnut came in the room. And Scientist Sam came in the room. And Sam was making jokes about uh, Jewish people, I think. Patrolling. Is he single? No, no, no. Either Dragnet was making jokes about I Jewish people so. or black people, 
or scientist fan was doing it. But anyway, one of them was making a joke. And then Shani was actually getting offended and said, okay, if I can't make these kind of jokes, then you can't do it either. And then they all started making these jokes. Now, I didn't rage or nothing like that when I, when I saw that particular stream. You know what I mean? But the point of the matter is, is that it's funny that she can sit here and talk about all of this. Because you're going to see how she's going to start blaming me for all of this. But you're going to see how she's blaming me for all of this. Mm -hmm. But then she goes out there and does it herself. And then wants people to accept her. Facts, Absolutely Jack T. Absolutely ridiculous. And if you go take a look at that stream, uh, it's called uh, the Epic Hangout. That's what it's well, wait a second. But why is he rehashing the past? Though I thought he would have new tea. He's rehashing the past where he was practically simping for Shiny that used to call him the N-word, that used to curse him out, that used to say mean and nasty things about him, and then he would defend her. But now it's all out in the open of what he was doing. But a lot of people been knew she wanted him. She wanted him first back in the uh, the old hangout days, the great debate community. She wanted him after Rev wasn't uh, really doing that well when they had to move. I believe it's, yeah, it pretty pretty much started when they were being evicted, which was like uh, circa May 2021. And they had that epic move from Colorado to Pennsylvania. And they were staying in the uncle's house for a while until the uncle got sick of them. And they stayed at G-Man's. It's called, it's called the Epic Hangout. I watched part one. Two and three. I watched it in its entirety. For sure. That's why Lisa I know B. what happens in it. I've never seen it prior to that aliens YouTube channel. He he says that hello life forms or whatever, but it's called the it's called uh Bond's Epic Hangout. That's what it's called. And you, and if you type it in, you'll be able to find it. All right. Yeah, and he had the money, I he had homes. Two or three, that's when um drag and uh and um and, and, and scientist Sam goes into the room. Then I say, today I have to go to a viewing. Then Saturday, a funeral. You ate, uh, being very. You are not being very sen. You you are being you are being very insensitive. I misspelled the word and put eight there. So you'll be able to see that there. All right. I told her she was being very insensitive. For those of you who don't know, I was at um a, a very close relative of mine passed away, and while I was at this um viewing and funeral. All of this racist crap that's going to come out of her mouth, uh, uh, she was saying while um, um, I was at this viewing or on my way to the viewing at the time. Okay. So either when I was going there or when I was actually there because I had my phone with me. Why did you still rehash in the past? It's just saying. I should have cut the thing off personally. Right, Jack T? Shani says, you're being insensitive. I said, Shani, stop. <sighs> You treated others how you want to be treated. I didn't like to be treated that way. Sam don't deserve it. Now, remember, guys, she never came into the stream. She Man. saw the stream, but she never came into the stream. Okay? Those people are destroying you. Wake up. And Lisa B says, G-Man is a true Christian. He helped them unconditionally and never expected praise. I'm glad he finally decided to stop. Yeah, I'm like, when is he going to stop if he's giving them money all the time? Because people like Shani and Rev, when you give them money, it, it's never going to stop. They're just going to keep asking you for more. Like if you've never been in a situation where people do this to you, where once you start helping, they will never stop asking you for help for anything and everything until you're either broke and as destitute as they are or an argument happens. Like they'll just keep asking you and asking you and asking you over and over and over again. And this is what I'm saying to Shani. And to True, Shani. Mary. And then I said to um, X, yes. Shani, I know what they got planned for you, right? And then she uh, says, you are being no different than the cop who wouldn't get off of George Floyd's neck. This is what she's saying about me here, right? Then she says, get off of him and stand down in Jesus in Jesus Christ's name. Sure, Lindsay, exactly. Okay. Then um, uh, I said, Shani, stop. You're getting me upset. This would be a regular theme with me, her with, with, with me and her for like the next year and a half or two years because Shani was very annoying with this. OK, then uh, she said, and mind you now, I was at a, I was at a viewing at this time or a funeral, I think at the time. Right. And then this is what she said to me. No, I have every right to say stop to this nonsense. Black people say the most racist 
cuss word to us. Right. We need screenshots. I don't think he's uh, techni- technologically savvy with this. And we don't go after y'all. Get over it. Pig. This is what you said to me. I want everybody to see this. Exactly, Lisa B. That's exactly what you should call it. Um, you had patients like the Shannon Rev expected people to pay their way in life forever, like somebody else pays for everything that they need. I didn't get on YouTube. I, I never ran about this. I ain't say nothing about Shannon. And they never see a problem with it, right? They never see a problem with somebody else always paying for what they have or what they need. And what they need or have, well, really isn't what they need because you don't need smokes. You don't need Delta 8. You need food. You need shelter. You need clothing. Those are the three necessities of life. But you don't need any Delta 8 or smokes. Or if you need food, you ain't going to be so specific to want Subway or a pizza. Regarding this, when we was going back and forth on this, I didn't say anything to her about her on GTV regarding this. You guys heard me. She was allowed to come on my channel and say all this stupid garbage on my YouTube channel. And I was just biting my tongue and biting my tongue and biting my tongue. Because if I said something, then she would have said something. I would have threw them out. Period. So, or well, I would have had nothing to do with them and they know it. Okay, because at this time, that house was in my name. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. So, in your um, name. So, kick them out. I told her, okay, I told you to stop. And you are still sending me these messages. I'm going to I'm going to stop every text you make uh, after this. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to stop every text you make after this. Yeah. The whole shiny and rev situation has a lore of its own. This is harassment. It definitely does. And then I put, uh, wait, did you call me a pig? And this is what she showed me. Oh, and she showed that the finger. Okay. That's I don't your... know if you guys can see that. It's her giving me the finger. Yeah. That's your girl, G-Man. She wanted you to hit that. Right. Now, I got some videos that y'all going to be listening to soon. She wanted she you to hit video that. Messages that. She got tired of texting out the while. Then I, and then she says, I don't know about you, but I listen to dad when he says, love your enemy. Now, mind you, this is after she gave me the middle finger. For those of you that, that are, for those of you that are Christians. Okay. I personally believe that Shani is a Christian witch. Okay. She loves Valerie. Um. True, that, Lindsay. That black lady's name that, that, that she's a Christian, which is Valerie something. Valerie Love. Valerie, Valerie Love. Really? She loves that woman. And I think that's the type of uh, mindset and worldview that she actually has. But Lindsay says they only want their wants met, not their needs. Exactly. But if they had their needs met, then maybe their wants would me be met as well. Like getting a job, Rev. Like getting a job. But yeah. I still can't believe she put so much money in Dogecoin and on uh, cryptocurrency as a whole, losing what they say was what, like two hundred or two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a day. Can you imagine losing that much money? You know, I I heard I was watching the Netflix documentary of that guy who had a house and all he would do was gamble with his money to make money. And then he was talking all this smack about he had to sell his home because he lost, what, like half a mil on the whole um, GameStop thing. I'm like, the the best business practice is if you think you are not, well, not even think, you should know if you're at the beginning of a wave. Because if you're at the beginning of a wave, then practically you will always make some profit for the most part because you were at you were at the beginning let's say let's say you were into bitcoin in 2011 or 2013 or even 2014 2015 you were at the beginning you don't enter a wave at its peak or at the end you're just gonna get destroyed but it's definitely not judo's uh judo uh, judeo christianity then i put jesus didn't tell you to give me a middle finger stop lying now this is when the videos begin so let me play the video here Right, Lindsay. So you could turn from your ways. You're being wrong, and you're going after white people to try to or to try to teach them a fucking lesson. What are you teaching them? That AIDS against AIDS. Facts. Take your mess for back. Facts. And then I put. Hold on a minute. Ah. I know a person who's doing substantially well off crypto. He never paid a cent for any of his crypto. He would just um, get drops. 
Because if if you started your crypto journey off a couple years ago, there were so many drops happening that all you would do is do the requirements you need for the drop. You would get the crypto drop and then you'd be set. Can you imagine? I remember the at the, the height of Ethereum. I believe it was like uh, Ethereum was going for such a crazy amount of money. And then I remember somebody was like, yeah, man, I uh, I got like a drop of Ethereum for like a thousand, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it was a thousand. Yes, because I think, yeah, Ethereum skyrocketed the past uh, year and a half. Yeah, he got Ethereum, a thousand Ethereum for free. Can you imagine getting a thousand Ethereum for free? Do you know how much Ethereum is right now? It's at 2000 Canadian dollars. Can you imagine you were at the drop where you got Ethereum, 1000 Ethereum for free? How much money would you have right now? You're, you're literally making yourself a millionaire in a couple of years, not doing anything. And that's what happened. That's what some people did. They got the, uh, the free drop, the free airdrop of Ethereum. And all they had to do was huddle and they made so much money. Okay, hold on. Then I put, I don't, I don't know what, you, okay, hold on. I, I put, um, I don't know what you think you are trying to pull, but you are not getting a vid out of me. You got the galaxy rules. So you are wasting your time. And I think that's what she wanted at the time. She wanted the video so she can get pity and sympathy in her whole mind. Uh, I think she's going to get some, get some, um, I punished her for this, by the way. She didn't get no Delta 8, and, and then Red started crying nice. to me about it. Nice life of Lindsay. I go through this shit personally, mostly because of fucking you, G-Man. Do I honestly want someone else to go through the same fucking bullshit I did? Like, you black people, you don't see how racist you can be toward white people. They say one thing out of line, and you all jump on everyone's case. But it's okay to call us white Facts, people, take him his spirit back. white bitches, whatever you want to fucking say. We say one thing, and you act like assholes. But those of you who haven't seen it yet, um, go um to Shani. And by the way, GP doesn't even know this. And GP, if you're watching this, and uh, Lubis, I think you know about this. And if you don't, I want you both to go look at this. Go look up Shani for Christ going after the life of a free spirit. Just go look at that. All okay? right. We'll and go look, look at how many times this woman was calling that other woman the N-word over and over and over and over and over and over again. Go look at that. Then go look at how many times your guy got called the N-word. And I think I know where you can find that video. You have to go to Irate Alex's YouTube channel. It's on, it's on one of his... Um, but you were still supporting them, G-Man. Documentary. Repeatedly. Video, unfortunately, it's at the end of it. So you have to go to all of them in order to find out the specific video. I don't have it right now for you guys to see it. Although I did cut it up into a video that I'm going to upload that's going to um, that's gonna be pre-recorded or whatever. So uh, Shani is, number one, gave me the middle finger, claimed God was talking through her. Actually, no, 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 no. She said that she was giving me the middle finger. She said I deserved it or whatever. And then the second time... She sits there and says that black people are constantly attacking white people mm -hmm. and everything and whatnot, and then saying I'm this evil, horrible person, and whatnot. Why black I'm Mary Higgs? Because she believes I want to keep helping her. Because all she got to do is give me no fake tears. Exactly, I, and you were, you were helping her. I did for another year. Yeah, over sure. and over. I couldn't believe it. Mostly because of fucking you, G man. Do I honestly want someone else to go through the same fucking bullshit I did? Like you black people, you don't see how racist you can be toward white people. They say one thing out of line and you all jump on everyone's case. But it's okay to call us white devils, white bitches, whatever you want to fucking say. We say one thing and you act like assholes. All right, this is the follow up video. Yikes. G-Man, you damn well know this isn't about fucking you two, but she you're does believe in me, me. And don't be like, you're cussing, you're cussing. I know I'm fucking cussing. You know why? Because I have the spirit of Elijah and he cuss too. So if you have a problem with Elijah, then go to God! So anyway, I got a $2 super chat from uh, Sandra Berger. She says, do you know anything about the cats? Sorry. Yeah, I what about late. the cats? No, I don't know nothing about the cats. I don't know nothing about them. Um, 
I, I thought Animal Welfare took the cats out of the the hotel that they were staying at. I stopped looking for them because I realized that if I would have went to the shelter and I wasn't going to go there and physically help them, that I would have been accused of stalking and I could have gotten a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, I was told not to go out there looking for them. But uh, thank, thanks again for the uh, two dollar super chat. Uh, I said to her after she said that, I said, you might get some views, you might get some clout for coming after me, but they will but they will still hate you. Right. Shani, I hope up. so, too. Put, Lisa uh, stop kissing their butts. And this is how Shani responded. You're going to blame me for trying to get views. Why the fuck did you think that I would want to go in the room with Miss Parker after the fucking shitty shit she said to me? OK, Shani, so if you're watching this, Shani. Hold on a minute. Uh, Purple Moon says my first Gmail live stream. Uh, thank you, uh, Purple Moon, for uh, watching today. Um, and thank you for the $2.49 uh, super chat. Smash that like button, everybody. If you are into Shiny and Rev, well, this is G-Man talking about a lot of stuff that happened a lot years ago up to current about his situation. If you didn't know, G-Man is no longer talking to Shiny and Rev and has essentially flipped on them and given the tea he has been given the tea for a couple weeks now actually about a lot of their situation about a lot of uh, how shiny did want to sleep with them about how um he was helping them even get delta eight amongst other things so um <laughs> she she's saying why would she want to go into um into miss parker's room when miss parker was basically doing the same thing uh uh when miss park was saying all the evil things about her it wasn't that long ago where she was getting on my case about talking about burnt toast and she said she barely knows who burnt toast was which is a lie you know what i mean and she she right, knows fully, she's mean? fully aware of all of the videos that burnt toast was making about her but she would have went on that channel if she would have been invited she's full of it and then uh i i said and take a stand for christ and this is what she said Oh my God, G Man! When are you gonna realize this isn't about fucking YouTube? Right, I'm not Jenny. Trying to gain brownie points. I'm actually trying to do the right thing as a believer in Christ. Okay, as a believer in Christ, you have to take a stand right, in doing the right thing, not acting like the world like you are. But wasn't there a dude in her bed when Rev was in jail? Wasn't that guy called Monty? <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Wasn't he called Monty? There was a there was a black dude in Shani's bed when when Rev was in jail. When was that though? That was in and around like the summertime. Uh like June. It was June because uh, that the uh it was William called the the police June the 8th, but the incident happened June the 4th, 2022. So there was a 4-day interval. And after that, Rev was in jail. Yeah, Rev was in jail. No, it was not me, okay? <laughs> clearly, clearly in the video, the dude does not have a likeness to me, but I could have sworn his name was called Monty. So anyway, the next thing I say after she said that, it sounds like you want me to stop defending you. Okay, all you had to do was ask. Now, mind you, the moment I do that, she'll get on YouTube. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. Nobody. Everybody's abandoning me. Nobody wants to donate to me. Nobody wants to defend me. And then Rev sent me a million messages saying, you're supposed to be our friend. Why aren't you defending me? And then telling me in the background not to defend her. You're going to notice on these Shani Chronicles that there's many times where she tells me to stop defending her. There is no way in hell, Mary, I would ever hit that ever. Now I'm not going to look at any more of the videos. You can go to Drag's, um, you can go to Drag Nuts, um, uh, uh, members only stream, and you can look at the rest of the videos that was played there. But I'm going to go back to the actual text messages, and I'm going to keep reading here. All right. So let me oh see man. Here. I'm, I'm going to skip some of this boring stuff on here, but okay. So she says, um, I like an apology and a live confession on your G-Man channel telling everyone I called, I called you that because you were threatening to rob me and you were antagon and, and, and you were antagonized me exactly like that. <laughs> right. Be free. If I said it like that, I would sound like an idiot <laughs> if I did that, by the way. But um, then she says, uh, I think it's only fair with all the hate I took. You want to fix it. Confess. Then I wonder if G-Man actually ever did hit that. As in, you know, G-Man and Shani getting it in. 
Remember when they were eating, what was it, chicken and watermelon when she first arrived, like within the first few days of her arriving to Pennsylvania? And she says, I want you to tell everyone that was offensive. how you drummed it up because ultimately it started with you. All this hate started with you. Remember that just because you lied. Fact, celebrity juicer. Okay. And then I told her no, because I never said that. So that you guys can see that. We can't see that. On their channel. We can't see that. Sorry. All right. Now, there's a few things that I want to say about this, about the part I just got finished reading. You you think they had a threesome? Uh, uh. All right. Probably. Um, Who knows? Number one, a lot of you out there was saying that. Go vote now, everybody. Midterm elections are here. Vote now. Or forever hold your peace. You know, G-Man, that this is your master and you obey everything that she tells you to do. That she was paying me to make these YouTube videos. Number one, she wasn't paying me. Number two, I was not making videos like she wanted me to. And you're going to learn this as we look at the Shannon Chronicles. Because you're going to see some of the disgusting stuff that she wanted me to participate in. Especially the Sodafon and this... This, this 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 double worship and some of the stuff that they were doing on this oh, channel. Are you serious? Like, I knew about that before they went on YouTube. That's why you never saw me make a YouTube video and say anything about it. They told me about it before they went on there and did it. Right. If you don't know, Shiny for Christ, Shiny Cooks, uh, what else? What other names that she used to use? Uh, whatever. But rem remember, remember people that Shiny for Christ many years ago, at one point, she actually had a Shiny for Satan channel. Not a lot of people know about this, but Shiny for Christ, aka Shiny, aka Shiny Cooks, she had a channel that she named Shiny for Satan. So this is what G-Man is talking about. You know what I mean? So I was like, eh, whatever, I don't care. You know what I mean? Because because they was doing that to, to get you guys to donate to them. I knew this, and I didn't say anything. Because I felt like if you guys were dumb enough to believe them, you know what I mean? And mind you, this is during the time of me not wanting to deal with dragging all of them. Uh -huh. I think they've been in this thing. I talk about the contract. Mary says, your master, did they have a sex dungeon too? They probably wanted to have a sex dungeon. Video and everything. She yep. had all those sex toys. That I was going to make. She had the fetish whip. And I believe around this time is the time when I first started talking to um uh, GP and Indigo too, I think, at the time. Because I got their text messages too. And I'm not going to read their text messages. I'm not going to do that. Uh... <clears throat> But let me um, keep reading here. So, oh, and obviously, I, I never made that video that Shani asked me to make on one eye. So she she can't, no, nobody can sit there and say that this woman was ever my master. Then she says, welcome to sin. Good on you, I'm gonna man. Take your Sup, house, American your girl. Wife, your wife. The hell you are, N-word. That's, um, that's what was said. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yikes and yikes again. Now, it doesn't have the E-R at the end. It's, it's G-G-A at the end. We can't see it. I don't it. know if you guys can see that or not. No, we can't. All right. We need it on the screen, G-Man. So she says, uh, the hell you... You, sh you should have, like, taken a photo um, from his phone, like, screenshot his phone and put it on his, his uh, computer. I think he he's on a laptop right now, isn't he? R N word. That's what was said. Then she says, it was you being a butthole and hiding cuss word. Um, that's okay. So that's what she said. Right let there. me, guys can see it. let me Google Tom Ellis. I'm not going to say that. Oh, all right. Okay. It's Lucifer Morningstar. Looks like Tom Ellis. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. Sure. I can see that. But he's married though. Yeah. He's married to um Megan Oppenheimer since 2019. Yeah, Tom. Ellis I took is a it really all man. for you. A woman took it. You push and push people to their limit, and you push mine. I took hate from all the world for you wanting to steal from Rev. Remember that, and we gave you everything. Sub Bean Town Girl. Hope you're happy. You can't even sacrifice your ego. S M D H. I did for you. Love how you rather. Do this, then the right thing. Shame on you. I am a real follower of Jesus Christ. No, you wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. At least she's I very do what pious. He says, turn the other cheek. Let the wicked be wicked. Let the unjust be unjust. Oh, I'm telling you what Jesus is saying. 
keep fighting and you will go to hell and be called a wicked servant. Yeah, but you still have a but you still have to be a sheep and not turn into a wolf. OK, you rather die than be a servant. Jesus so serves you and is a people pleaser. Mind you, I'm at a funeral. Meet eating orchid. How are you doing? What's up? Smash that like button if you're just coming in. Uh, if you've noticed, Shani loves using the word of God or God as a whole as a sword, right? Whenever you are against her or she feels that she can get a little bit more out of you, she will use, you know, God. She'll come at you saying nasty names. She would call this man the N-word. And then the next in the next breath, literally, a text would come and it's all about being a godly, righteous person. It's rather sickening. I'm not responding to none of this. So she's going on and on and on. Take care, on one small on. moose. Ego begets ego. That's right, sir. You will be judged. Remember that it's too late. It's too late in the season to beat people up, but you can't sacrifice your ego. How about you tell the truth? How about you read Revelation twenty two eleven? It's called the two great commandments. Do need to know nothing else, G. I'm dead serious. That's how she wrote it. Okay. Yikes and uh, tricks. This, this has nothing to do with being honest. Taking my spirit back says, G-Man was good to them. He might be gullible and somewhat naive, but he did so much for them thinking he was helping. Exactly. He thought he was helping, but sometimes when you help certain people in situations like this, you're just reinforcing the negativity because they need to really find their rock bottom to change. Even though I hope that might happen with Shani and Rev, but who knows? She might be looking for somebody else to put her up. But we shall see. And this isn't about kissing butt, but writing wrongs. You know what's funny? You always saying, I called you the N-word, but you never, but never saying why, because it makes you look bad. Imagine being called a racist for defending yourself cuss word all the cuss word cuss word we've done for you giving out our very last to you it looks like that right the, with the old wallpaper i still believe this is um the old house that was given to him for a dollar it could be wrong but i think it is he just hasn't really done much except for the very minimal in terms of upkeep i heard he's selling it though like he wants it sold done and gone you can't even say you started this whole racist cuss word. Instead, you acted, you act like I called you the N word, uh, just passing by. Facts taken. And it's not back. true. You were harassing and having others harass me. I remember. You can't even admit it. You, okay, hold on a minute. So you can't even admit it because you you're a coward. And I hate what you did to me and my life. So she's accusing me of destroying her life. Okay. She's also accusing me of saying that mm -hmm. I'm the reason why everybody looks at her as being a racist. Right. <laughs> and not only do I disagree with that, it's not even funny, uh, 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 you know, to, to, to even, even entertain something like that. Because the bottom line, these people was calling life at the free spirit the n-word they were calling drag the n-word they were calling a whole bunch of black people on the internet the n-word then shani on multiple occasions said that she's not sorry for saying the n-word and what did you do about it nothing okay shani destroyed Zero. shani it wasn't me and i didn't and, and i wasn't the one who branded her racist although i will admit that when she called me the n-word i opened up a can of whoop butt on her and i wasn't and i and i'm not sorry for doing that because people like that need to be rebuked mm -hmm. all right keep reading now it says uh you ruined it by pushing their racists Cussing, cussing. Yeah, he's not a very strong reader. Cussing. This we is G Man. Gave you yes. a house and money, but we are racist. Cuss word. She said "f you." That's basically what she said. Uh, you set up white people just to take from them and point racist at them, and point racist at them. This woman can't. Okay, anyway, uh, you're the real racist, but you will get away with it because you're black. So what cuss word? You huh? G-man, you ruined my life and you're too much of a child to admit it. Like you really owe me. You don't deserve mercy. None of you do. Facts. None of you do really. Because I never got mercy. Just hate on top of hate. Yeah, he said whoop, but I think they actually did say whoop ass or something a lot more uh, 
crude is just that he doesn't like saying certain words such as damn or ass and whatnot. And fake friend who just wanted our cuss word. Enjoy this stuff. Right, Edna? Hope it stinks and, and, and feels like guilt. I pray God strikes you down for this attacking women. You, you're racist trash. And that was the last time they used this phone number to text message me. I guess uh, the phone bill couldn't get paid. I yeah, wonder why the phone off. bill couldn't get paid. So anyway. Um, I wonder why. All that Delta During the hates. Shani Chronicles, you're going to hear her say things like this, her being racist and her thing and, and, and her getting on here, getting all emotional and saying the kind of things that she said on here. In the next video that we're going to do, you're going to hear about how they wanted the death of Dragnut. And they went into great detail about this um, uh, uh, and how they were praying about this. And they were really specific about what they said about him. You're, you're going to see uh, text messages from when apparently um, when was it was it Jason? One of them got on YouTube and called him the N word over and over. It, 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 it was Rev, and he did it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Facts, Lindsay. Her racism convo on residency would have ended after the first remark, but of course, G Man is you know still engaging with them. You're gonna see them begging for Delta Eight over and over. He and doesn't over have again. to. As a matter of fact, I think I think I got it on this phone. Let me see if I can find it because I have two sets of messages here. From uh, Shani and Rev. And this is really the only one I wanted to read. The reason why I'm going to delete this is because of all of the inappropriate stuff that's on here. And I don't think YouTube's going to let me have it on here. So if somebody's sniping it, that's good. So somebody's got a record of it. It's blurred out. We can't see it. Uh, I guess we can go through this other one here. Uh, where she's talking smack about drag and Miss Parker and all of them. So I'll try to do this one tomorrow. Uh, oh, we're gonna do a series. I'll do this one because this one's a like lot shorter said. than the other than, than the one we read today. Okay, and then we'll go into the one where they're wishing his death. And and they say this quite a bit, by the way. I mean, I know I got mad, but when you guys hear some of this stuff, you're gonna be like, "What?" And it's not just um, a uh, drag. It's Grand Ultimate Villain. It's um, it's a uh, 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 BGTV. It's Miss Parker. It's a whole bunch of people in here. Like oh. she really well that you guys. <laughs> And okay, so I'm looking at something that she said about him, but I'm going to save this for the next one. Taking uh, my spirit back says, if you listen to G-Man, he's kind of sheltered. He was not cued in on their games. He's learning. Uh, okay. Kind of sheltered, huh? Well, it kind of, he's, I think he, he sees the best in people, which kind of can get you in a lot of trouble as g-man got into a lot of trouble like he's lost a lot of money because uh, what i want to do is i kind of wanted you stream your art to show you guys these because some people are saying that this is blurry and then on top of that they're sitting here praising me for 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 going after you guys regarding them but then later on tells me not to defend them i don't understand it i really don't Facts, but Lindsay. i'm going to show you how many times they asked me specifically for 20 to 30 dollars to get medication mm -hmm. and how much money and they didn't and get the medication. They need it for it. You're going to see the actual text where you know that, that they're specifically asking for twenty or thirty dollars. That's why. That's why if you ever hear them making a YouTube video asking for twenty or thirty dollars, it's not for food. It's always for Delta Eight because where they were, that's how much Delta Eight cost at that gas station that they was at. All right. If they didn't have thirty bucks, they wasn't going to get no Delta Eight. All right. So, does anybody have any questions in the live chat? Any questions before I end this? Right, their medication. That's what they call it. Yeah, medication. I eat drugs. You're absolutely right about that. All right, smash that like button up, people. Let me see something here. Well, actually, hold on a minute. Hold on. We're going to be doing more, I guess, uh, G-Man content from his uh, newer channel. I wouldn't say new, but newer. And we'll see whether or not Shiny and Rev come back whether they're at the uncles or whether or not they are actually at the shelter in downtown Scranton. Who knows? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Um, there is a little bit of a debate. Well, actually, okay. Because if, 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 if Delta 8 is considered a pharmaceutical, yeah. Yeah, then it could be considered a drug. Um, am I doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. My back is still hurting from surgery I got. Um, but I'm all right. Oh, yes, of course. Damien Marley, medication. <laughs> medication.
Um, so again, uh, you're going to hear threats from uh, towards Miss Parker, uh, death threats towards drag. And you're going to hear a lot of this stuff uh, coming on this. If I can't do it here for some reason, and I have to go to somebody else's YouTube channel. It'll probably drag, be Drag's channel or it'll be Miss Parker's channel. Yes, Belize Mimi, you heard that right. The the good stuff, the drugs from the corner store, the Delta 8. You could pick it up from the corner store, the convenience store at the corner. That's what they were doing in Pennsylvania because uh, Delta 8 is not seen as... Um, illegal or something like that but i'm gonna try to do it on here because i gotta uh, start making some videos on here because i haven't been making no videos and then uh on my gmail channel later on today i got some hebrew Israelite stuff i gotta do so somebody gave a um a uh super chat and it was um x destiny gunblade he gave a five dollar super chat and he says i'm running a graphic design business you want help yes i do i need a logo uh for okay. this channel that'd be great if you can give me a logo for this channel um if you can make some logos and email them to me i would like to see them all right okay and my email for this particular youtube channel is faithful to for god, sure taking my spirit back at gmail.com faithful to god not man at gmail.com faithful to god not man at gmail.com if you want to uh, contact me regarding that let me know your prices and all that stuff um why a tiger and not a lion at the intro uh like uh, uh, on on this channel i chose to put a tiger there because the tiger represents focus the eye of the tiger being focused on what it is that eye you know. of the tiger. Um, uh, mm -hmm. i think on the g-man channel i have a similar intro and i use a lion on there and that one represents the lion of judah but on this particular um, Daddy Kevin? channel i just want to try to use it for focus and i'm not going to always be using a lion I'm sorry, always using a tiger. I'm going to be using a different intro altogether soon. Um, I just got to finish editing it and making it. Speaking of intros, I need to make myself a uh, a food intro for my third channel. I do got to do find that. time to do it. I will find the time in time. Hopefully yes, soon. I can get the uh, specific news. NW Jess is back. Uh, says, um, can you get your text readable? For next time. Yes, I can. I'm going to try to put the main text on my stream yard. I'm going to delete everything that I have on my stream yard video wise. And then I'm going to start putting well picture wise. And I'm going to start putting those texts in my stream yard because I can do it with the other phone and it'd be easier. All right. Taggers are great. Taggers are great. Taggers beat lions about a ratio of two to one because hopefully my calculations are right. Tigers can weigh up to double that of a lion. <clears throat> okay, so that's all of the questions. I'm going to wrap exactly, this up. Exactly, Billy and Mimi. He can. Uh, I just wanted to read this. Shani was never my master. I told her no on multiple occasions. And while I was being nice in that text exchange, I was rather mean to her. On Ooh, multiple you occasions. Were rather and I'm mean. going to show this during the Chronicles of Shani. How about you he, were, G-Man. You were very stern telling her no. Even though that's an appropriate title for this series. But Behave. Anyway, I'm going to show you just how mean I can be when these people are talking to me. Like Thanks, this. Jack T. What I'm talking about. Uh, thank you, Lynn, the, cin the Cinnamon. She says you're doing um a lot better with the streaming stuff. Thank you. I'm trying to pay attention to this live chat. I don't like doing it because I'm used to people being mean to me in these uh, live chats. So I train <laughs> myself to ignore it. Okay. So again, uh, Shani was never my master. I wasn't getting paid to sell my soul to make YouTube videos for them. And they made requests for me to make videos. And I'm sure they did. The time, I told them no. I'm sure because they did. The ideas. And by the way, so there's them. a video that exists on YouTube. Whose channel is it on? I don't know if it's on burnt toasts. I whose channel is that thing on? Who, who, who has that video? Right, <laughs> TW. There's a video out there where Shani is saying to everybody that me and her had great sex, and <laughs> that um, my spies was um, scientist Sam and everything. And oh, during this series, I'm going to show you who idea that was. It wasn't mine. Okay, uh, it was. Um, it was uh, Shani's idea to do that. 
But when, did they though? Did they have the sex? Who knows? So you guys what I'm talking about when I show you those messages. All A right. lot of people say I yes. To, to feel better, uh, other side of the mirror. Uh, XX gave me a uh, twenty dollar super chat, and um, thank you XX for the twenty dollar super chat. And uh, XX is saying, "Hooped in here for a bit. I will catch the rest on replay." Excellent. Thank you, uh, XX, and thank you for the twenty dollar super chat. And if somebody could do me a favor, um, how do you collect the funds? Right, Mary. So if somebody can ex- make a YouTube video and explain that to me, that'd be great. Because for right now, these ain't nothing but images and words. I don't know how to collect okay. any of this. So if somebody can tell me how to do that, that'd be great. <laughs> Every time I look for a video, some Indian person is explaining it, and I can't find an English person um, talking. Wow. About um, let me see something here. Um, all right, guys. Uh, Kelly Butt says, yes, give this evil, vile human being some more money. All right. How you doing, Kelly Butt? <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, right, Mary. You can do that for me. Uh, I think he's just never gotten um super chats before because his G Man um channel had like 10k subs, but then he got yeeted. So, but that was practically all videos. So he just doesn't know how to collect super chats by way of uh, live streams. You gonna let me know? Send me a video via Skype. That'd be great. He is money. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna make another YouTube video tomorrow. Um, you I guys... believe so. I believe so. I'm gonna have to check again if he's monetized, but I do believe so. But I will check to confirm. They're probably gonna benefit more than I am from it, but I'm going to um uh show people the death threats next that was made towards Dragnut, towards um and all of the stuff that was going on between us, myself, Shani, and Rev, towards Miss Parker, EGTV, and Drag, and I am not innocent. You're gonna see what I'm talking about when you guys look at what was actually being said. Like I said, I prefer to do that on somebody else's YouTube. All right. Thank you for confirming. Taking my spirit back. You recently said he's monetized. Great. Channel. I'm going to give you guys about uh, a half an hour to download this. If you haven't sniped it. Uh, and after that, I'm going to delete this. All right. But he didn't. So you got about a half an hour. And then I'm going to delete this video. All right. And we're going to go to the awesome outro. And I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. All right, so um, tomorrow he's back again. Give me a second here, guys. I'm looking for my outro. <laughs> here we go. I don't like using this phone sometimes because my phone. Here we go. And that is it for G Man. So catch me around later today. I know there's um, people streaming all the time these days. Um, if anything comes up, either I'll do a live stream or a video, but I'm out. I got to go get something to eat. And hopefully you will vote. People vote. Midterm elections are here. Uh, take care of yourselves, everybody. If I don't see you later, maybe I'll see you another time, but I'll be around. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. She doesn't have super thanks button. I have no idea why she doesn't have super thanks. That's kind of strange. Maybe she doesn't know that she needs to activate it because it's activated on all my channels. Take care, Natsuki. Be free. Mary Fresh Flowers. Lindsay, Blizzy and Mimi. Lynn Smith. Jack T. Take care, my spirit back. American Girl Oranges, Poranges. Mary again. And we have Flordea in here. Charlie's mom. Edna online. And everybody else. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. <music>